what's up guys this is Richard again for another edition of learning with rich so in this topic after we discuss our uh, work set so this time we are going to talk about how to resolve issues using the coordination review tool in Revit MEP again this is a part of the examination so Hopefully, you learn something from this video. Okay, so for this one, before we start, so we need to talk about first about the monitoring changes in the link files. Okay, so in most building projects, you need to collaborate on the building design. Like, for example, a mechanical engineer uses an architect's preliminary building model to devise the the initial mechanical design layout of the building so therefore proper coordination and monitoring helps ensure that the mechanical model is synchronized with the changes that the architect made to the building model so effective change monitoring reduces errors and expects uh, expensive rework during the construction okay so for this exercise so what we are going to do is we are going to monitor a link file of another discipline and we will be using the coordination tool of revit okay so let's get started so i'm going to open an exercise here so let me open this one uh, how about I open this one, Imperial? Okay, so let me open an Imperial template. So I'm going to open. So let's say, for example, oops, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm not going to use this one because it will uh, upgrade. It will take a lot of time. So I'll just use this one. I already saved this file in 2018 version. Okay, so this is now the project. So let's say this is our Revit uh, MEP project. Okay, so as you can see, I have here four levels. <clears throat> I have here four levels. So as an MEP engineer, so you want to take advantage of project sharing by linking a Revit structure file. So I have a Revit structure file. I'm going to link to my MEP project. So then after that, we are going to coordinate the two disciplines. Okay, before we start doing the layout, something like that. So that's the scenario. So to link our Revit structure file, I'm going to select here, insert, and then you can see here, link Revit. Just click that one. And then I'm going to link now my structural. So let's say this is my structural project. Okay. And then I'm, after that, I'm going to select here open. So I'm going to use auto origin to origin for this one. Open. So there you go. So I now have the architectural, uh, I mean the, the structural model. Okay. So let me press the tab until I select the link model. So this is the link model. As you can see, there is the link model. So we are going to coordinate these two disciplines. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to monitor the structural levels so that the Revit MEP displays a warning when the floor-to-floor -floor height changes. So how to use our, our monitor? So from my previous videos, I already show you how to use that. So you can go to the Collaborate can go to copy monitor and since we will be using our link model so I'm going to select the link model here select link and then let's click the link model which is this one this is the link model just click that one and then you will be able to go to the copy and monitor tab okay so to monitor I'm going to select here monitor tool okay so monitor so i click this one and then i'm going to select first the mep level and then the structural level click that one 
and then you will now see this symbol so this symbol shows that these two levels that we have here is being monitored so i also select the MEP level the level two uh, structural level level three level three roof and then the level four okay so just select finish after you monitor so just a review when you say uh, monitor tool so you can use monitor tool or you can monitor the elements created in the current project using the monitor tool so the monitor tool establishes a relationship between the corresponding elements for example between two grid lines or between two levels so just remember you cannot monitor unlike pairs such as a grid line and the wall which are contained in the link file to the elements that are native to the host file so make sure you select a pair of similar elements and establish a relationship between them using the monitor tool okay so after we monitor the levels the next thing that we are going to do is let's say we are going to reload a modified Revit structural file okay so this uh, this Revit structural model is already modified so let us put it here so let's say for example our structural guys they modify the levels of their model so we need to reload it here on our MEP project okay so to do that so from the insert tab so I can select here manage links just click this one and then let us click this one so this is our current structural link model just click this and then let us use reload from so we will be selecting here the revised one so let's say this is the model that the structural guys have given us their revised model so just select that one and then you just select ok open and then you will now see this warning so as you can see it says here an instance of link needs coordination review okay so since the levels that we are working on here is modified and we are actually monitoring it you will now see this warning if you expand that you can see that these are the warning okay this is the warning anyway you just need to select that to continue so i just select here okay and then from here you will see that there is actually a changes from the link model right you will notice it moves up right now for us to be able to resolve this because that is our topic how to resolve the issues using the coordination review okay so for you to be able to use the coordination review you need to go to the collaborate and then from the coordinate panel you can see here coordination review so this is part of the examination so you need to remember where is the coordination review located at okay it's just beside the copy monitor tool anyway okay so just select that one and then select link right and then you just need to select the link model and then you will now see here the issues that we are having and the resolve issues okay so you can group it by status category rule or it's up to you how do you want to group the the messages here so if you are going to expand this you can see that there is a changes on the name there is a name change okay if you click this one you notice it highlights the the party that is involved on the issue so you have the level here which is this one you can also see there the element id so just in case on the examination it asks for the element id so this is the element id this one this is the element id so as you select it actually highlights the the involved elements on the issue and aside from the name change there is also some change in the position so like the levels was moved by 300 so last time it's 7000 uh, last time it's 7.3 now it becomes 7.6 uh, meters so it moves up by 300 mm okay 
So as you can see, it changed, right? So again, if you're going to expand that, you will see this. Now, to resolve this, you have some actions that you can perform there. So by default, the selection is uh, postponed, right? So if you want to postpone the changes, so you can just select their postpone. So you also have here, what? Reject. So if you want to reject, so this option is used when there is a difference between an element in the host file and its associated monitored element. The difference is because the change made to the element in the host file is incorrect and the change must be made to the associated monitored element. So this command is available only on the host project tab. Right, so you can you can reject that, or you can also accept difference. So when you say uh, accept difference, this option accepts the change made for the made to the element and updates the relationship. So for example, if a pair of levels were eight inches apart and one must move away by twelve inches, the change would be accepted and the relationship will be set to twelve inches. And then the other one is modify, uh, rename, or move. Okay, you can see it here, less. Okay, so this option name changes based on the action. So if the name of the monitored element has changed, the option is uh, rename. If a column or a level is moved, the option is move. If a grid is changed or moved, the option is mod modify. So in this one, the name is is changed. That's why you can see here rename. But if you look here, it says here move because it was moved. Okay. All right. So that is actually the, the action that you can do. Now for this exercise, so what we are going to do to resolve this issue is we are, we are just going to select uh, rename. So we want to follow the naming here on our structural model. So for the name here, so the action that I'm going to use is just to rename that one. And then you can actually add here a comment if you want because you can generate a report if you if you also want to have it. Okay, so you can add a comment. You can click a comment there. Rename levels. Okay. Then you can select OK, right? So you can rename. Now for this one, you can also change this like uh, move. So we're going to select move. So we want to follow also this. So we want to move our MEP model. So we're going to move that. Same with this. I'm going to move, move again, right? So move level. Then you can add comments. So let's say moved already. Okay, it's so moved already. Just going to copy this. Just put the comment here so that others will know in case you create a report because you can create a report. So let me show you. I'm going to select create report. Just put it here and then save. So if I'm going to open that, okay, let me just look on that exercise file. Monitor. So this is how it looks like. This one. Okay, you see? This is the Revit coordination report. So just in case you want to generate the report regarding the coordination review, you can just click create report and then this is how it will look like. Okay, contain name, contain position, and then you can see here also your note. Okay, the note of the person. Right? So now, so after you put here the action, the next thing that you can do here is to apply it so that it will remove now the issue. So apply. It will apply here. There you go. So it's now moved. So you can just delete this one. So as you can see, it's already moved. And this one already renamed floor and then it's moved already and no more issue so basically that's how you resolve the issue using the coordination review tool all right so that is one good thing 
if you uh, if you are monitoring your elements okay so any changes that the link model have made to their model you will be notified and you can resolve the issue using the coordination review tool right so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions just put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can once again thank you for watching guys have a nice day